to Act 3, The Cool Down and Stretch, designed by Reese Kozakowski. I created a series to soothe the entire body after a long day or intense workout. This series is structured as a 20 minute flow that's easy to follow. The three workouts complement one another. Just press play and I'll guide you through. So grab your yoga mat and some water and let's begin. Now just take a nice standing position, legs in parallel, and lengthen the spine upwards. We're going to bring the right foot up and do some nice, easy ankle rolls. Inwards, and then we're going to change and go outwards. Other side. And reverse. Now back to parallel. Just take a few plies to release the calves. Now take the left foot back into a nice calf stretch with plie. And then extend the back leg straight. Hold that and just feel the stretch up the calves. And now change. Plie. Extend back and push the hips forward also. Now tuck the knee under and come to a sitting position, legs straight. And bring the arms up and fold over each vertebrae at a time with your legs straight. And just hold and take a nice stretch. Now roll up and keep your hands on your feet and then roll back down slowly. If you can't reach your feet, just place your hands on your shins or your knees. Do this about three times. Okay, now come back and grab your left foot and stretch it up, keeping your back straight. And again, if you can't reach your feet, just place your hands on your shin or your knees. And switch to the other side. To the first leg, bring it in to your chest, turn down, and then lengthen in front of you, turn down. Other side. Now let's grab the left leg with the opposite arm and stretch and twist behind you, feeling your glute and your hamstrings. Now other side, Now let's come into an easy second position, opening up the hips 
and bring the right leg in, bent, and forward. You'll feel this in your glutes and your hips. Back up and other side. Okay, now back up to a sitting position with your back straight and roll down slowly. Cross the right ankle onto your left knee and pull it into your chest. Try keeping your tailbone on the ground. And other side. Roll up onto your knees and sit on your heels. Extend the left leg out and roll into your left hip. Try and get your left hip flexor onto the mat. Reach your back long and lift up to the ceiling. Plant your right foot onto the ground and take a deep lunge. Bring your arms forward with a flat back. Come up to a 90 degree lunge and push your pelvis forward. Now grab the left foot and pull in for a nice quad stretch. If you can't reach your foot, grab a TheraBand or a towel to assist you. And back to the knees. Now other side. Really reach your head and your chest up to the ceiling. Plant the foot onto the ground for a deep lunge. Really push your hips forward and arms up. Back to a 90 degree lunge, hands on the knee and find your placement. Grab the foot for a nice quad stretch and push into it. Now come back to a sitting second position. Now lengthen out of your hips and push your feet as far back as you can. Now place your left arm onto the ground with your palm facing the ceiling and reach over with the right arm. Keep your chest in line with your hips and try not to roll your shoulders forward. Other side. Lengthen the spine and fold over the hip bones. Now back up to center, and now let's do it without any hands on the ground. Just back and forth each side, and down, and up. This is so good for the abdominals. One more time.
and fold over to open up the hips. Take a few breaths here. Now let's make your way onto your knees. And then to upward dog, stretch it out. Place your right arm behind your hip bone and pull the elbow forward. Feeling that rotator cuff stretch. Other side. Now place both hands on the back of the neck and really pull forward for a nice stretch. You want to feel this stretch along the entire spine. Now bring your hands behind you and interlace your fingers and stretch the arms straight. Really open up the chest and we're going to roll forward, trying to pull your hands right over your head as you stretch down. Grab your left elbow and stretch the lats over to the opposite side. And switch. Make your way to your hands and knees and extend to plank. Now slowly lower down. This time, place your arms in a 90 degree angle on the floor, keeping your elbows in line with your shoulders. And bring your left leg over to the right side. And other side. Come back to centre and lift yourself up to a plank. Bring your feet in front of you to a sitting position and fold your entire body forward. Now we're going to slowly lower each vertebrae at a time down onto the mat. Scan your body from your toes to your head, making sure each muscle group is relaxed. Bring your palms to face the ceiling, gently let your fingers curl and let go.
Now slowly take your time to roll up. Your workout is complete. <laughs>